four types of coding. Four different forms of coding. Data compression or source coding. Error control or channel coding. Cryptography coding. Line coding. Data compression. Data compression, source coding, or bit rate reduction are terms used in information theory to describe the act of encoding information using fewer bits than the original representation. There are two types of compression, lossy and lossless. By locating and removing statistical redundancy, lossless compression lowers the number of bits. Lossless compression does not result in information loss. Bits are reduced by lossy compression by excluding irrelevant or less significant data. A device that conducts data compression is typically referred to as an encoder, whereas a device that performs data decompression is referred to as a decoder. Data compression is the term used to describe the process of shrinking a data file. It is referred to as source coding in the context of data transmission, since the encoding is done at the data source before it is stored or transferred. Force source coding should not be confused with line coding, which is used to map data onto a signal, or channel coding, which is used for error detection and correction. Because it lowers the amount of resources needed for data storage and transmission, compression is advantageous. The compression and decompression operations use up computational resources. A trade-off between space-time complexity and data compression exists. For instance, a video compression strategy might need expensive technology to be quick enough to view the video while it is being decompressed, and the option to decompress the movie completely before watching it might be inconvenient or require extra storage. The degree of compression, the amount of distortion generated when using lossy data compression, and the number of processing resources needed to compress and decompress the data are all trade-offs that must be made when designing data compression systems. Error Control the goal of channel coding theory is to identify codes that transmit quickly, have a large number of acceptable code words, and can either rectify or at least detect a large number of errors. Although not incompatible, performance in these areas involves a trade-off. Consequently, different codes are preferable for various applications. The likelihood of transmission mistakes determines the necessary features of this code in large part. Most CD impairments consist of dust or scratches. The data is dispersed around the disk and CDs using cross-interleaved Reed-Solomon coding. A straightforward repetitive code can be used as an understandable example, despite not being a particularly good code. Consider sending a block of data bits, which represents sound, three times. We will analyze the three repeats piece by piece at the receiver before casting our votes. The twist here is that we don't just send the bits sequentially. We mix them together. The data block is initially broken into four smaller blocks. Following that, we send a little from the first block, then the second, and so forth. To distribute the data across the disk surface, this is done three times. This might not seem useful in the context of the straightforward repeat code. However, when this interleaving approach is utilized, there are more potent codes that are very good in correcting the burst error of a scratch or a dust spot. Other codes are better suited to other purposes. The thermal noise of the receiver, which is more of a continuous character than a bursty nature, is what restricts deep space communications. Similar to wideband modems, narrowband modems are constrained by noise, which is present in the telephone network and is better characterized as an ongoing disturbance. Reference needed rapid fading can happen to mobile devices. Even if the receiver is relocated a few inches, the high frequencies used can result in rapid signal fading. Once more, there is a group of channel codes that are intended to prevent fading. Cryptographic coding The study of and application of methods for secure communication in the presence of third parties is known as cryptography or cryptographic coding, called adversaries. Modern cryptography places a high priority on numerous information security elements as data secrecy, data integrity, authentication, and non-repudiation. More generally, it is about creating and analyzing protocols that thwart adversaries. Electrical engineering, computer science, and mathematics come together to form the field of modern cryptography. Among the uses for cryptography are electronic commerce, computer passwords, and ATM cards. Prior to the modern era, encryption the transformation of information from a readable state to apparent nonsense was practically synonymous with cryptography. An encrypted messages creator restricted access to the decoding method required to recover the original information to just those who were supposed to receive it, preventing unauthorized individuals from doing the same. 
Since the First World War and the invention of the computer, cryptology has been practiced in a wider range of contexts and with more sophisticated techniques. Modern cryptography is largely influenced by mathematics and computer science. Cryptographic algorithms are built around assumptions about computational hardness, making them difficult for any opponent to break in practice. Although such a system may theoretically be broken, no known practical method exists to do so. Theoretical developments, such as advances in integer factorization methods and faster computing capabilities, necessitate these solutions to be continuously modified, thus, these schemes are referred to as computationally secure. The one-time pad is an example of an information-theoretically safe method that is proven to be impenetrable even with unlimited computing capacity, although these mechanisms are more challenging to implement than the best theoretically impenetrable yet computationally secure techniques. Line Coding The line code is a code used in a communication system for baseband transmission. It is also known as a digital baseband modulation or a digital baseband transmission method. When moving digital data, line coding is frequently utilized. In line coding, the digital signal to be sent is represented as an amplitude and time discrete signal that is perfectly matched to the unique characteristics of the physical channel and of the receiving equipment. Line encoding refers to the voltage or current waveform pattern that is used to represent the ones and zeros of digital data over a transmission channel. Unipolar, polar, bipolar, and Manchester encoding are the major varieties of line encoding. The line code is a pattern of voltage, current, or photons that represents digital data in telecommunications and is used to transmit data down a communication channel or write data to a storage medium. In data storage systems, this collection of signals is typically referred to as a limited code. Since the range of signals that can be employed successfully is constrained by the physics of the communication channel or storage medium, some signals are more error-prone than others.